hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Today it's week three and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Detroit Lions. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three and we're underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now the first running back taken back in April, the former Longhorn, B. John Robinson. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. You talk about this Lions defense. This crew against the pass issues at times, ranked number 24, Charles, in the NFL. And you see the starting unit here, but really, you're going to see a lot of different personnel, a lot of different packages as they rotate in and out throughout the game. From the 22 now, here's a second and seven. One of only two rookies to top 1,000 yards on the ground last year. Here's Tyler Algier. And this will be a Falcons first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. <laughs> On play action, here's Ritter. Got a man complete to Miller. Down the right sideline. Touch or touchdown on the year. And the Falcons need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that as so he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll go with a rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Arnold Ebicady gets there for the stop. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. at the 40 here for second and five. Another run for Gibbs here. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Here now a third down and eight. Maverick, 
Looking to throw, Hooker. He's airing it out for Williams. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Cordero Patterson deep for Atlanta. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. He'll return it from the six. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. Ritter now on second down. He's got his man, London, right side. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. Five yards, now it's third and five. Ritter off to play fake. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the sideline he goes. And he gets this one down to the 24. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 56 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. Here's a screen for Robinson. He's got room to roam, and he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second-and-goal situation. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there, now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in, and now they can do whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go, or savor it a little bit, but I run right back at them. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Well, the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Algier will score. Touchdown, Atlanta. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Now Young Way Koo for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Yeah. 
And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. But you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Going back to Gibbs on first down. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, helped their spot, and stacked him up. This is second and eight. All play action. Here's Hooker. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Falcon territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Gibbs straight ahead. And he'll get it down to the play to the 37. The Lions at 0-2 here to begin the season. And listen, they made their share of mistakes in these first two games, CD, but yeah, talking with them in the days leading up to this one, doesn't seem like they've lost any confidence. I would agree with that. And what they told us was that they weren't planning on making any drastic changes. They didn't see the need to shake things up. They were going to continue to plow ahead. They thought they had the right guys on the team and in the locker room but they do have to start winning some games. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down at inches. Here comes third in the length of the football. Gibbs will try and pick it up. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Extends this drive. And that's why he spent a first-round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll go again with Gibbs. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 29, here's second down and seven. Working out of the shotgun, Hooker. Well, this is caught by Williams. 
A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Third down, Hooker looks to throw it. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great play there. 28 yards. And the Lions are back within a score. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a pretty slick return there. Almost got it to the 45. Officially, they'll call him down at the 44. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in the touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Back to Robinson now on first down. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. 57 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run here with Algier. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Third on the year. And the Falcons have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now 21-7. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run, pass, mix, and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Second down, and they go back to Gibbs. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Here's Hooker to throw it. Flush to his right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Ty Summers. 
coming in to drop it for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And now consider the lead, the Quinn NFL. There's never enough, I believe, because they get reeled in all the time when you sit on the ball. I think that they will try and move the ball downfield and try and squeeze a few more points out of this first half. They'll be careful. They'll be a little bit cautious at times, but also they will attack downfield and try and get in position for at least three points. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Rolling to his right. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Ritter. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. And the Lions are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Hooker to throw on first and 10. Flushed out right. Finds Gibbs on the check down. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. And that's a nice throw right there. And I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason from a college offensive coordinator that showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket, how to get comfortable when they're doing so, and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. They go play action. Here's Hooker. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Hooker now off play action. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Come on, now, let's They're trying to resurrect his confidence. Last week was a disaster. Five interceptions in that loss, and another pick there. I played with a quarterback like this before, and he had a tough game, and the head coach said, I'll take him, I'll fix him. The very next game, he started out the exact same way. And the head coach turned to the offense coordinator and said, he's yours from now <laughs> on. Someone has to take responsibility and work with him and try and get him settled. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first and 10, it's Robinson. 64 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Ritter will set up to throw it. 
Escaping the pressure right. He finds Ross, right side, it's complete. Falcons gonna use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Ritter. This to Pitts and he's got him. Touchdown Atlanta. Kyle Pitts as the first half is winding down. And the Falcons would extend their lead here just before halftime. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Two able to connect on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Hooker's throw going into the hands of Williams. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Final shot before break. Hooker looking downfield for Jones. And this is caught inside the five. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Patterson now for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. A gutsy call there. Yanks at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the game was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 54 yards rushing for him now to this point. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Fourth down to give to Gibbs. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. 
This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. To throw on second down, here's Hooker. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. And they'll send Williams in motion right. Hooker. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, partner, given where that drive started, that's an excellent job defensively to force them into fourth down. Patterson's kick is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there, and CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line they had that first half lead but they have been shut down here in this third quarter so time to retool a bit and probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down so you don't play quite as hard that's what they're looking for here try to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little So second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he'll earn a couple of tough yards past the 30 to the 31. Now third down and seven. Ritter to throw it. Over the middle, caught by Mims. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. Here's second and 10. On second, here's Algier. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Ready. 
Here now, second and four. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 73 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 25, here's second down and eight. Ritter now. That's out wide here for Robinson. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 12-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. First and 10, it's Patterson. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct, being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Robinson on a give right side, and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown. And the Falcons look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. offense ready to kick off their next drive and they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing trailing here in the fourth quarter this would be their third straight defeat and they start things off with a carry by Gibbs here and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Second and six. Hooker's going to throw it. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. And this offense on third down today, they've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and six. Now Hooker. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Falcons are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. A give left side to Robinson. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Going play action, Ritter. 
And incomplete on the deep ball. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. The Falcons send out their punter. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Hooker throwing again on second down. He's airing it out for Williams. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Falcons are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around a defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. This ball down the field for Pitts. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. And in an afternoon where just about everything's gone right, there's an unlikely sight there. He's got a receiver all alone downfield, and he just overshoots it. Second and 10. On second down, a run with Patterson. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Again, idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Falcons. His guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. 
where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. A big play there for Detroit. 53 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. From the gun, it's Hooker. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Throwing. Hooker. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Hooker. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not getting...